Hello everyone, Dr. Ames here. What I'd like to talk about this time is male and female leadership styles. Now, as you can see here, generally uh, men have a command control style versus women's interactive style. Now, a lot of comparative sort of characteristics uh, on either side. One thing we do not want to lose sight of here is the fact that really we're talking in broad generalities. We're going to find men who are more towards the other column and their traits and behavior and the same with women as well. So these are tools, uh, understanding something about a situation, uh, but as a tool we can gain from it and certainly just knowing some of this material allows us to uh, think about what we might want to change about our own leadership style. And uh, regardless of which column it's in, uh, a trait that seems to fit our personality and style and so forth is something to maybe think about uh, adopting and, and so forth. Um, but because men and women grow up socialized differently in American culture and indeed around the world, um, in our case, it's particularly patriarchal. And uh, over time, uh, different leaderships certainly uh, have developed and this goes uh, certainly hand in hand with the differences in communication styles and so forth. So let's um, look at this a little bit. Um, many of our earliest organizations in America, earliest factories, large organizations, things like that, very authoritarian uh, based on men's style and men's power. Uh, there were no women in the founding fathers government. Uh, it's called the founding fathers for a reason, patriarchal society. Um, and in, indeed, in earlier times, uh, 17th, 18th, 19th century, even, even today as well, uh, women's leadership styles are often uh, perceived as being too soft to really to be real powerful leadership. Um, so when we look at men's general command control style, it's, it's based on top-down decision making. Um, you look at the women's interactive style. Just, just the labels that we use to compare them. Command control, it almost implies battle and war, right? We look at women's interactive style, that then implies negotiation, building networks, relationships, and so forth. And so those are all concepts that also relate well to the differing communication styles. Whereas men are gonna use their power, their structural power, um, Remember, women didn't get the right to vote until the 1920s. They couldn't even enter into legal contracts. So they've had to use their personal power, their human capital to get things accomplished, to get their point of view across. Men use their institutionalized authority, structural power. They're focusing on their self-interest, their agenda, and certainly the self-interest of those in their in-groups, their followers. And women uh, are much more, uh, in general, oriented towards uh, organizational goals, what we share together and what we're striving for. Men uh, very much like to control by using rewards and uh, using rewards as incentives to get things accomplished, to motivate and inspire. They tend to work on both genders. Uh, but overall, we would say that women like to control things by generating empowerment, building uh, trust and rapport. Uh, the men's command control style is more about me. It's more about my individual contributions. Um, where women are in general, you would say that they are looking for shared power, sharing information and so forth. Men are very rational. They're about reporting information. They love their schedules and their facts and they want to report it and they want to give you advice on it. So they're very rational. Women are in this sense, probably more open-minded to other ways of agreeing and looking for insight uh, through feelings and things like that. Men are very competitive, not to say that women aren't. Women are certainly very competitive. Uh, but when it comes to negotiation, when men do seem to have this overwhelming win at all costs attitude, winner takes all, that there's a clear winner and there's a clear loser. And, and women's style, the interactive style is more about collaborating and negotiating. Uh, it's more about creating mutuality of interest where you have win-win situations 
uh, where each side will be willing to give a little bit up to make sure that both sides come out of it feeling that at least there was a fair resolution. These are very different sorts of approaches and general thinking and styles and so forth. And then finally, all of these things sort of added together. Uh, we look at the men's style and how do we resolve uh, conflicts? Well, we direct. Well, what does that mean? Men like to give orders is really what it means. They like to be in charge. Quite often they like to act unilaterally. Uh, unilaterally. So that's how they resolve conflict. They give direction, they make a plan. And then they, of course, want to implement. Uh, women want to spend maybe uh, their time building the rapport, the network, negotiating, looking for that mutuality of interest, trying to build consensus. True consensus, of course, is 100% agreement. That's, that's pretty hard to get in many situations uh, in human relations and so forth, in organizations in general, in business, trying to get consensus. But at any rate, uh, that's the goal. So we can see that these are quite different ways to uh, approach things. And what we ought to learn from this information is to use it like a tool and to improve ourselves by adopting those things in both columns. Uh, that will really make us better leaders. Okay, folks, that's all I want to talk about this time. I'll talk to you again soon.